So in this video, we're going to be looking at what happens when we multiply a polynomial by a monomial. So that means there's a single term in front multiplied by um, something in brackets with maybe two or three terms. Um, before we look at that, we're just going to, again, briefly review the distributive property. You've seen this slide before, and, and by now this should be very familiar to you. So remember that the distributive property essentially just means to get rid of the brackets and then simplify your expression. And to do that, you have to multiply each term that's inside the brackets by whatever the term is outside the brackets. So we're going to take this a and multiply it by the b, and that will become a, b. And then we multiply the a by the c, and that will become a c. If those were like terms, we can then add them. If they're not, that would be our final answer. Also, within this topic, um, think about your exponent rules. So, for example, if you do x squared times x, that will become x cubed. So remember, when you are multiplying exponents, you end up um, adding the, sorry, when you multiply powers with the same base, you end up adding the exponents, and that's going to come in handy. So let's look at some examples. So in this first example, we're going to distribute what's in front, which is the 3y, to what's inside the bracket. So 3y times y, 3y times y will become 3y squared. And so that's where we're using our multiplication rule, y times y is y squared. And then 3y times negative 4 is going to be negative 12y. And that will be our final answer because those are not like terms. Um, so we're actually kind of combining a couple topics. We're combining the topic of the distributive property with the topic um, that you just looked at, which was multiplying a monomial times a monomial. Um, the next one, so we're going to take this negative 2x that's in front and multiply by x cubed, and we're going to get negative 2, whoops, that didn't show up very well. Let's try that again. We're going to get negative 2x to the 4. Then we're going to get negative 2x and times it by negative 3x. Be careful, a negative times a negative will be positive, three, sorry, positive 6x squared. And then negative 2x times 5 will become negative 10x. And again, that is our final answer because we don't have like terms. And if you can't quite read this one, this was a 4. And then let's look at the final example. So again, the first thing we're going to do is to distribute. So we're going to take what's in front and multiply by what's inside the bracket. So 3x times negative 2x is negative 6x squared. 3x, I wanted that to be red. I guess it doesn't want to be red. 3x times 5 is positive 15x negative x or negative 1x if you prefer times 8 is negative 8x and then be careful with your signs on this last one negative 1x times negative 3x is positive 3x and now you're going to oops sorry that's negative 1x times negative 3x so x times x is x squared so that should be positive 3x squared and now you're going to collect your like terms. So in this case, you've got a six, negative 6x squared plus 3x squared. That's going to give you negative 3x squared. And then your 15x minus 8x will give you plus 7x. So when you can collect terms, collect like terms, then you do. If you can't, then you can't. And so really there's nothing new in this video. It's just combining a few topics that we've already looked, looked at into kind of one topic. 